Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be back. I'm in, in the midnight hour, commanding the midnight, commanding our day, commanding our morning, just giving God the honor and the glory. Amen. The honor and the glory. So, Abba Father Adonai Elohim, blessed healer, the Lord of our righteousness, Jehovah Rapha. Lord, as we walk in your presence, as we bow down and yield our members to you, Father God, we submit all that we have, Father, including our will. Yea, God, we pray for the break of anointing over our lives. Lord, forgive us for our sins, God. Forgive us for our unrighteousness. That's right. If anyone has committed any sin towards themselves or others, I mean, you need to repent. So repent. And ask for forgiveness. Ask God to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Ask God to sanctify you with the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. Ask him to purify your heart, your mind, and your soul. Amen. Get back in the alignment with the will and the purpose of God. So that God can move in and do the things that you need done in your life. Amen. Many of us need the assistance of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord is our teacher he is our counselor our rod and our staff but he will come and help you amen as you submit your will to the father trusting and believing in the benefits of god yea god we bless you this day god we thank you for the atonement of the blood of jesus we thank you father god for delivering us father god from every root cause that has cursed every root every curse that has came a against our lives father god in the mighty name of jesus lord we thank you lord for the deliverance from self-infliction that's right many of us has inflicted ourselves with wrong confessions so we pray now that you will renounce and repent disown divorce Every word curse that you have spoken against yourself through thoughts, through, through evil imagination, even telling jokes, amen. Renounce it now. Break the power of those words off your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Be delivered. Be made whole. Be made set free. In Jesus name. Amen. So we just bless you father. As we repent. For every word curse we have spoken over our lives. Father God. Forgive us for our unrighteousness God. Also father I forgive. Whoever you are just begin to re repeat this. I forgive anyone. That has spoken word curses against me. Known and unknownly. Yes God I forgive them i release them i let them go in the name of jesus any backbiting slandering and gossiping gossiping i let them go now in the mighty name of jesus i release them all in the mighty name of jesus they have no more dominion or reign in my life i am free amen so i praise you father god as you lead me as you guide me i thank you lord that you continue to teach me to break through amen break through from every soul tie every word curse that has been created through the word curses the soul ties father god in the name of jesus lord we thank you lord that those soul ties are now nullified and void they are broken they cannot bring any more harm into my life in the mighty name of jesus christ i thank you lord for the atonement of the blood of jesus amen amen praise god thank you jesus thank you lord amen praise god so we just thank god amen for everything that he's continuing to do in our lives and we have to be mindful of the affliction that we have allowed to enter um through our confessions amen self-inflicted curses the word of god says in the book of matthew chapter 26 verse 73 and 74 after a little while those standing there went up to peter and said surely you are one of them for your accent gives you away and then peter began to call out curses on himself and swore to them i don't know the man Jesus and if you remember that story <laughs> when Peter said no no I, I'm not going to deny you you know Jesus oh yeah you're going to deny me because 
Satan desires to sift you like wheat. And one of the biggest mistakes that Peter made was not only denying Jesus, but beginning to curse himself in front of the people. Because he knew he had to do something ungodly for them to believe he had nothing to do with Jesus. Because when you walk with Jesus, I mean, follow Jesus, you have to live this life of righteousness, holiness. You have to submit your will to the will of the Father when following Jesus. I mean, you can't walk this life any kind of way and continue to afflict yourselves with word curses. Amen. There's no honor in that. But Peter, I believe Peter was hindered as a result of speaking those word curses on his life. And the key thing is the young lady said, oh yeah, he's one of them. Because he has an accent. Amen. And so not only did Peter deny Jesus, but he denied himself. He denied his own purpose he denied his own dignity so that he could meet the standards of the unclean people that was surrounding him amen so peter called down these curses upon himself and a lot of people have cursed themselves in the in in the attempt to def defend their case and i'm telling you it's amazing what we will say about ourselves just to defend ourselves amen we will step out of character and lie against ourselves speak curses against ourselves to get somebody to be in agreement with who we are not realizing how much harm we have done in the spiritual realm against our lives amen so it's amazing how people would do that in an attempt to defend themselves to defend their case amen to show that they are not guilty but they are guilty they are more guilty of the crime they committed and the crime against themselves amen just because they wanted people to believe them so why should anyone in their right mind in their right sense amen want to speak curses upon themselves why would anyone want to speak word curses, afflict themselves with more pain? Amen. The fact is, is that people do this because they are ignorant. The fact is because they are foolish. Or the fact is they just want to please those around them. I have done this myself on multiple occasions. I have said things about myself and to be in agreement with someone else and i know some people out there could understand me there was some inappropriate language i used to speak back in the day and when that person say you were this and you and that i will fall in agreement with them say yeah that's right you better know it <laughs> i was really disrespectful to myself and to others that surrounded me amen but we had to Fall out of agreement with those word curses before they take root in our lives. Amen. Some curses that we afflict upon ourselves. Amen. It allows the enemy the green light. Not only to trespass in our lives, but also in our generations to come. Amen. So we have to believe in God and trust in the name of God and denounce those word curses. Command those curses to be rooted up in the name of Jesus so that we will have our deliverance and our peace. Just like Peter, Peter knowing well that he was lying, but yet he still continued to curse himself and deny Jesus. And deny Jesus. But it was wrong. Amen. The Bible tells us it is wrong. And the Bible also tells us that there is power in the tongue. There is life and there is death. And they also the scripture talks about in Hebrews chapter 4. I've been saying it quite a bit in my teachings about discernment. The word of God is, uh, is, is active and the word of God is alive. And the word of God knows the intent of our heart. The word of God is a discerner. The word of God has the ability to pierce 
the the bone the marrow i mean it, it has the ability to go through our mind body and soul straight to our spirit man so we have to begin to believe and have faith in the promises of god by just trusting and believing in his word amen because by your word you shall be condemned Jesus said that you shall condemn yourself by your words, your own words. Because the word of God said by your own words, you will be justified. Amen. Justified by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. You cannot afford to continue to speak these negative words over your life. And this is a season that many of you are fasting. Many of you are seeking the will of God for your life. And so just like me. As I have done in the past and still continue to do, I renounce those word curses. I renounce every generational curse off my life. I break every stronghold. I break them by fire, by force. I begin to release them with the authority that the Father has given me through the through His Holy Spirit. But it's up to you, and it's up to you. And it has to continue to be up to you to continue to do those things that is pleasing and acceptable to God. That's right. You have to do those things that is pleasing and acceptable to our Father in the name of Jesus. And you have to begin to rebuke the words. Amen. Rebuke them by fire, by force. So we're going to get into some prayer points. And after the prayer points, we're just going to get into some worship. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, Father, begin to repent. Amen. Whoever you are, begin to repent. Say, Father, I'm sorry for every evil word I have spoken over my life. Please forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Just begin to fall out of agreement with every evil word you have spoken over your life. Come out of bondage with those words right now even by agreeing and aligning with people that was also speaking evil words against us and out of our ignorance our foolishness we agreed with them amen and that is not the will of the father for our life amen so father i repent father i acknowledge that i have spoken evil words over my life that's right begin to pray over my life I ask you Abba Father to forgive me that's right be sincere I ask Father to forgive you amen say Father by the power in the blood of Jesus I wash away every curse I have spoken into my life knowingly and unknowingly I want to say that you need to break the powers and the activity of those words in the name of Jesus. Bind the power and the activity of those words. Because just like the word of God is active and living. So are those word curses that you inflicted your life with. So bind the power of those words right now. Break the activity of those words. That they were no longer manifest in your life or in your lineage. In your descendants. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. I speak life. I speak peace, favor, joy, and grace into my life in the name of Jesus. So basically what you're doing, you're replacing every negative word, every evil word with good words. So if you said you were stupid, you're going to replace those words with I am no longer stupid. I am not dumb. I have the mind of Christ. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Lord, I thank you that I have the mind of Christ. I have the wisdom of Christ Jesus. I have the knowledge and the understanding of Christ Jesus. Amen. If you said that you will never prosper, that you will never have finances, bind those words and break the activity of those words and begin to release that whatever I put my hand to, 
it shall prosper as my soul will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to speak that the promises of God in the book of Deuteronomy concerning blessings will be your inheritance now in the mighty name of Jesus. That's right. Begin to speak life over yourself. Change your words, those word curses to life of the Holy Spirit. Because the Spirit of the Lord wants you to know who you are. How are you to go on this journey with our Father Adonai Elohim if you don't know the promises and the plans that he has for for you so begin to break and fall out of agreement with those nasty words those joking words words that you said you didn't mean but you still said them renounce those words now because those words are evil they are not funny those words will cause you to stumble amen in the name of Jesus. So begin to position yourself. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to renounce all self-inflicted word curses you have placed upon yourself. Render yourself right now to the Father. Speak life to yourself. Make those words that you spoke non-effect. That they will not harm you. They will not harm your generation. They will not harm your descendants. Because you are speaking the blood of Jesus over your life. So Father we thank you for the cleansing power of the blood. We thank you for deliverance Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you God. That whoever's listening to this teaching. Their life will change right Right now their situation their circumstances will change now in the mighty name of jesus those negative words of jealousy and bitterness you will renounce them now renounce them all in the mighty name of jesus because jealousy and bitterness cause arthritis it causes discomfort and pain in your body inflammation in the joints so when you begin to renounce those word curses those evil word curses of jealousy and bitterness you will become healed in jesus name amen Stop overlooking the words that you have spoken over your life from your childhood into your adulthood. Break the power of those words now in the name of Jesus by renouncing them. Amen. Stand now in the name of Jesus and rebuke and cancel all curses placed upon your life by you and your enemies. Your words on your life are blessings. Therefore, no man can curse you in Jesus' name. Amen. So you are no longer cursed by your own words. You are no longer self-inflicted, but you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are no longer cursed, but you are blessed. Amen. And no man can curse you. Amen. And if any man curse you, it will return back to him 100-fold in the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever he or she is, it will return back to them. So begin to rebuke and nullify every evil word that has been spoken into your life by your enemies into your life by your foolishness by your arrogance begin to nullify it right now with the blood rebuke it right now rebuke the evil activities of those words that they will not cause any harm in your life they are nullified and void with the blood of jesus amen so we thank you father god for peace and joy we thank you for the breaker anointing we thank you for deliverance for deliverance is their portion we thank you father god as they deny themselves and take up their cross they will follow you father god they will follow your son jesus they will no longer speak those words over their life that is contrary to the will and the plans and the purpose you have for them according to the book of jeremiah 29 verse 11 amen so we just praise you thank you father thank you and as and you know what as i prayed for you pray for me that god will strengthen me amen i thank god for the people who leads comments uh and they um always encouraging me and praying for me so as i pray for you pray for me that i will be strengthened pray that i will be protected because i'm telling you the more i pray the more i pray <laughs> the devil keeps coming amen but i'm not afraid of the devil he's more afraid of me because of what god has already put in my life amen but this is just my prayer request pray for me pray for my family pray for my children pray for my finances pray for my ministry pray for my home my career and everyone that contends with me pray for me Jacqueline pray for me amen 
I greatly appreciate it. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You're the Almighty God. Oh my God, I love you today. Yes. Great I am. My hands are lifted because I draw nigh. Ah, that's the only way I know how to get to where you are. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship. Great I am, hallelujah, I draw nigh, yes, I draw nigh, you're the almighty God, hallelujah, come on, lift those hands to him now, just lift those hands to him and just begin to worship him, come on, give him the fruit of your lips, amen.